Hi guys, Rufman from Overclocking TV. We're still at the, at the Gigabyte booth in Taipei 101 in Taipei for the Computex. The thing is, we are having the new uh, X79S uh, UD5P, UP5, sorry, UP5. The thing is, uh, this main board is used the, uh, like the workstation kind of like enterprise version of the X79. So actually, that's a refresh of the X79. Um, what brings that? Remember on the usual X79, you had some port missing. Actually, now you have all them back and you have SIS support, like serial, uh, serial attached KZ, it's for enterprise class uh, hard drive. And uh, as usual, you will get back the two times four lane of, uh, of memory. So actually, that nice. you can plug a lot of memory inside. You can have 30 gigabytes. But the thing is, this mainboard supports also the Xeon, server Xeon, that can fit on the LGA 2011 socket. So actually, you can even put some ECC memory on it. The ECC, you can even find higher density sticks. So you can rise even more than 32 gig in the end. Uh, one other thing is, yeah, you have USB 3, you have all that stuff that you know it's starting to be common on the mainboard. And if you look at the back, we still have the OC button. So that's going to be for us. So basically, going to be like overclocking a bit your system. And you have the connection, like basic connection. There's no uh, display output on this one because it's X79 and it's uh, HGA 2011 socket. So we're going to try to to see if this one can be overclocked or not. And we're going to see that once uh, it returns. Oh, and it came with a Wi-Fi card on it. Anyway, guys. That is, I have the biggest one game, so we're gonna see how it works uh, in the end. Bye bye.